Hey everyone, Cami here. Welcome to the channel. Today we are cash stuffing our third paycheck for the month of June. If you're new here, hi, my name is Cami. We do the zero-based budget, which means we have a spot for each dollar that we make, my husband and I. Um, I am part-time and I also have like a small business doing like stationary items as well as like some budgeting items here and there. I have a Shopify shop that I hustle with and I also have the part-time that I work like a little bit of hours here and there at Target. And then my husband is a full-time employee he's working for a company that you know he's a basically like a vendor and we have a two year almost three year old daughter now we've been doing the zero based budget since april of 2019 is when i first implemented it it was before we were married and i know a lot of you guys also wondered how I got my husband on board with this even before we were married. What I did was I actually offered to budget his money when we were budgeting separately because we weren't doing a great job at budgeting our money and at that time we were making less than what we are making right now and of course the economy was a lot better then but yes we had you know separate finances i offered to budget his money his side of them you know but i don't take in anything and he saw how much it influenced and got his money better and that there was a place for everything and that's what convinced him to merge our budget and eventually did get married and that's just the story of how i got to do it because i know i've gotten a couple of questions from a lot more younger people here in the community that's just starting so that's just a little insight of what happened when it came to my husband and i's finances and how we got it together before we got married um of course we <laughs> lose our way here and there and that's why i'm trying to get back into it trying to watch more budgeting channels to kind of give myself not only like inspiration to budget but also other ways that i can budget better i think that's a great thing about this budgeting community is everybody has their own take on things and you can take it or leave it if you want to but yes we are budgeting right now and this is what i usually get from the teller um we are considered a low-income family considering i don't i barely work and honestly my shop isn't making that much because of the economy is really bad and i consider my stuff like a luxury item like stuff that you don't really need um but they're just cute things to have since they're just stationary items so that's just what i offer in my shop if you want to check it out it's in the description down below they didn't give me my crash breakdown card but we are stuffing 472 here this is our bonus paycheck and honestly we didn't make that much and i wanted to explain why i wasn't gonna honestly because something happened that's a little bit more personal to me um that's why we don't have that much money here we i was planning to have a thousand for our bonus paycheck because that's usually what we make but i didn't work for two weeks at my job i took it off and my husband had to take a leave a day leave and he doesn't have any vacation so it's considered like a call out without pay so that is also one thing so that's why this is only his pure paycheck of 400 and i forgot 489 i believe i gave him his allowance um it was 500 i forgot but it was just 500 it's usually about six something but he had to take a day off like i said and I had to take two weeks off, which is probably excessive from what I'm about to tell you. Um, and I know it seems like I'm laughing, but it's not funny. I just, that's how I deal with things, honestly. But yeah, we um, actually, I wasn't, I wasn't going to share this, but I figured things like this happen. We experienced a miscarriage, my husband and I. Um, it wasn't a planned pregnancy at all, not by all means. And... It was it just happened so quickly like i found out i was pregnant and you know i had the time to process it and you know i processed it and we were like in between like abortion and keeping it honestly just being honest with you guys we were nowhere close to being able to provide for two children and ourselves especially with what i'm doing i pulled my baby out of daycare because daycare was so expensive that means i had to stay home you know we took a loss on income when it came to that so we you know processed everything we went to our kind of pregnancy confirmation a week later and you know my husband and i because they kind of give you like a 
they give you options they give you like kind of therapy like getting to talk about it and like what are you worried about stuff like that even before the appointment my husband and i decided that we are going to keep the baby and we were already planning like oh we have a van so we can fit another car seat in the middle which is perfect and then we were already planning everything else and i was gonna like completely stop doing my shop honestly i would probably just keep the ones i already have but just keep doing what i'm doing but not too excessive and just you know take care of our children and stay at home with both of them and i was preparing myself mentally on how that's gonna be and all also like different things like my husband was trying to like find better jobs applying at better jobs which he actually got something back for because we were trying to find something that's gonna provide for all of us since i'm not gonna be doing my shop anymore so when we came to that um first appointment the i had a confirmation that i was pregnant had a urine sample that i was pregnant and then i also had an ultrasound and the ultrasound lady said that I was five weeks and one day and that usually heartbeats don't come out till later like five weeks and one day is usually the start of when it'll happen like the heartbeat so there was no heartbeat and it was only like a blob of like whatever like my little area looks like where the baby is gonna be at you couldn't see anything really um, so yeah, we were all very happy and excited and she said come back in two weeks which that is actually next week Tuesday to see the heartbeat and That day that I came home Everything was fine. I had a little bit of bleeding and then the next day It was all day bleeding and it felt like I had my period and then Thursday it was even heavier I'm gonna spare you like the gruesome parts, but between those two days, Wednesday and Thursday, because I had my, my appointment on Tuesday, um, between the Wednesday and Thursday, I did miscarry my baby. And it was very sad. And we definitely mourned that part of everything. And even now, like, talking about it, it's pretty sad because we were already, like, envisioning the family that we were going to have. And I even put it on, like, the little survey. Not survey, but, like, the little family planning that they were saying, like, pros and cons of keeping the baby like i put it there that that baby was gonna complete our family because we really wanted two kids like if it was gonna happen for us we were okay with two kids like that's gonna be like the most that i see my family growing was having two kids and my husband and me um so that was definitely something that we grieved about and we felt the you know the magnitude of how that affected our lives and will affect our lives and that we have you know a little baby in heaven up there watching over us so yeah it was sad and i took some time because i was in pain um it's like a mini thing that you go through like the pain of it is like a mini birthing pain is what i remember um and then also some time for like emotional like a little bit of emotional trauma here and there and also like just just the whole process of it wasn't pretty wasn't nice um it was very sad so we took some time and he took the day the next day off just in case i needed anything and i honestly didn't go to the emergency room because we just don't have the money the funds for anything and i was gonna wait till you know the next appointment with the doctor because that one is a free doctor i have experience with them before so i could get medicaid for my daughter and that's how i was able to give birth to my daughter free was because i had medicaid through them so they gave me the paperwork already for the medicaid so i could start it up but i will have to go through the confirmation and an ultrasound again this tuesday um i tried to contact them but we just can't we keep missing each other so yeah we'll see um so yeah that was the loss for that one um the first week i was feeling really like not myself i already knew that i was pregnant and that's why i took the pregnancy test and i caught it really early um rather than with mia i didn't catch it early at all <laughs> i was like two months pregnant so it was two different things and you know it's it's a very sad thing so that's why there's not a lot of money here and that's why the bonus paycheck didn't come up the way i planned to like if you see here i planned it to be a thousand and it's actually only 497 
okay i thought it was like 500 here is like the increments i have and these are some of the stickers i sell on my shop by the way um just budgeting stickers and i've been budgeting with them for a long time and it's been really easy for me to do it that way but transitioning i didn't mean it to be like this sad video but i do want i know i don't have to be this transparent to you guys i know i can keep some stuff personal but some of you guys have been with me ever since i even started doing budgeting videos and i know i don't owe anybody anything but i love sharing my life with you guys and how one thing leads to another and that i am you know just a normal person budgeting with some spending problems and also things happen really that we don't really expect to happen but it definitely opened our eyes to like we can possibly have another one like maybe later down the road again if it happens it happens if it doesn't it's probably not meant for us and i'm completely completely satisfied and happy with having mia because she is absolutely a handful and she's also perfect in so many ways let's go ahead and start cash stuffing i am going back to cash envelopes when it comes to some spending items because it's just getting out of hand it's it's not going well for us we just can't be spending the way that we've been and I need to be responsible and put my gear up and then just, you know, just do this the way that I've been doing it before because it was working. So I got my old envelope. I got my old wallet back. This one is the very first wallet that I started with when it came to cash stuffing. I actually received a lot of hate for this wallet because of like how much in debt we were. Just to explain before I start using this again, this is a gift from my stepmother. She gave this to me when I asked her if she had any long wallets that I could fit an envelope in and she gave me this. It wasn't like a little, little pretty bag or a little box. I still have the box. Um, she didn't mention if it was real or not. I think it was pretty rude to ask if it was real or not because I was already just thankful that she gave me this wallet. Um, it does have a distinct smell and it still has it and it's very durable. It's so easy to slide. So I'm thinking it's real but I'm not sure. But yes, this is a gift and that's what I've been using every time I feel like I need to get my butt in gear. Um, I also made some cash envelopes with vinyl this time. I've never had experience with vinyl. I've sold some cash envelopes before, but I've never used vinyl. If you guys don't remember, I've you know used the pattern ones. I've sold those. I've done the laminated ones, but with my stickers, not vinyl. So I played around with some vinyl and they're actually they turned out really cute some of them have imperfections because i still don't know how to do like the little vinyl thingy like this one has a bubble and a little dent here a lot of them has that dent because that's where the thing cuts it for some reason but i think next time i'll just you know cut it deeper and so it slides off better i have one for bank i have one for rollover i love using the rollover and then I have one for Carla, which is my allowance. And then I have one for gas, because gas is also getting out of hand. And groceries. This also includes eating out and household items for right now. When we do move, I do plan to kind of separate that a little bit more so we'll have more options. I've been seeing a lot of people with these vinyl cash envelopes, the laminated ones, and they turn out so cute. But like I said, mine had like some little imperfections here and there. But I'm still gonna keep them because they're just for me to use. Now we're doing this again. I'm like determined. This is how you guys know I'm determined. If you're thinking like you can just, you know, not spend cash and just be responsible. Um, I'm not responsible, guys. I don't have the discipline of not spending money. And I think the theory that if you do use cash, it is less likely possible for you to you know spend more money when everything's in cash because you can kind of see the money leaving your hands when you do this so i'm hoping that this will definitely help us out especially in the groceries department like all week we do so good with not eating out but once my husband's day off hits we eat out the whole day and we pretty much you know deplete all of the extras that we have so i just need to be responsible and also i'm gonna put the extra in cash again because not before i would put the extra money back into a cushion card that we have that's no longer happening because we keep using the cushion when we don't have any more money it's easier to have it in cash and if we have to use it for something 
we know that it's leaving our hands we can see that this much money is leaving our hands that we need to be more responsible and disciplined on not using it so let's go ahead and stuff these envelopes we're not stuffing any bills actually i don't know why i have these these are just for show we're mainly stuffing these because this is the bonus paycheck that we are doing um because we get five paychecks this month and i budget everything in for payments for everything for our bills and stuff but if this is your first video of me i know i'm chatty i am very chatty if you don't like chatty this is probably not for you i also love pastel colors as you can see um so all of these are for bills so i don't really need these i only mainly need this envelope or this wallet i keep calling it envelope but it's just for this wallet I just wanted to show you guys the process of me reusing cash envelopes for my weekly spending again um, and me making these laminated cash envelopes. I've been making these laminated envelopes for a while, like a long time ago, back when we before we moved in here. And now I'm using the vinyl, which is so nice because I always see this with other cash stuffers. It turns out so cute and I love it. But here, groceries, we are putting 150 And like I said, that also includes eating out money and household items that is not that much anymore 150 isn't a lot honestly i want it to be 200 dollars, but we just can't stretch our budget out that much um eventually hopefully we can like have separate envelopes for eating out and household items but for right now we are mixing them together so we're putting 150 in here and hopefully this system helps out that we will be more disciplined on using this for like groceries and stuff because we actually see how much we have all right we have that and then gas is also getting separated we put 55 dollars in gas every week because my husband drives a lot in his job and they did reimburse him and that put us in the green again because we were in the red he got paid 250 because that was two months worth of not because the first month they messed up on it and then they didn't pay him but they did pay him for both now so we're right on track so this is 55 dollars and the extra you guys it just went to eating out I'm, I'm i'm not lying to you guys i'm not gonna lie it went to eating out okay and also mia's birthday because we had to buy some stuff for his birthday carla is getting 30 dollars. i get 30 dollars every week and if you guys don't know i collect dolls that's been my like addiction lately and i'm gonna i'm probably gonna stick to it for a long time and i have no business collecting dolls the way that i was so i'm keeping myself accountable and i'm only using this money if i have to and i'm not gonna try to get every single doll i'm just gonna get the one i want which is draculaura i collect monster high so that's it for that and then rollover is just for something like if we have extra in gas if we have extra in food or my well, mine I'm not going to touch because I'm just going to let it roll over in its own envelope. But this one is for everything else. And this is just money that needs to go back to the bank. Um, for example, if I buy something like a doll using the cushion card because it's probably only in Amazon. And I can't put this right to Amazon right away because I have to go to the bank to put this cash in because Amazon doesn't have a physical store for me to go in and get my doll it's online only so if i use the cushion which doesn't have any money right now because we're disciplining not using it um i'll have to pay the cushion back so this 30 dollars will go to the bank to pay the cushion back so that's how that works and that's why i have those extra categories in there that we're not really stuffing so this actually goes to my wallet now and this has been a blessing for me, this wallet, because it started out everything. So I'm hoping that it'll give me the good vibes that it did like a few years ago whenever I first started budgeting. And hopefully that would just help us out, be on track, and also us moving to a, another cheaper place in September with our friend, like having roommates. That would just be a lot better so i'm so excited oh and you're probably thinking you still have money there um that's actually for mia's birthday this is gonna be i think this and the next extra money that we're gonna get is for her birthday we've probably i didn't think we were gonna spend this much honestly for her birthday when i planned it out because i was just like oh we can just get the passes and then we can just you know do the rigby's thing on her birthday but what has happened is it just got bigger and bigger 
than what I thought it was gonna be. I was like, oh, these people are coming. We're gonna get a canopy, which we did. And then, oh, we need to get some food for the day. And they don't allow outside food because it's a water park. So we have to buy the food in there. So that's gonna be interesting. But Mia only really cares about the water park, to be honest. So we really didn't need to do all of this, but it's her third birthday. And I really wanna make it special for her. I don't know if she'll remember, probably not. But the amount that's gonna be in here is one, two, 20, 35, six, and seven. So it's 237. I'm just gonna put this in my sample one I tried out for the vinyl. It just says Cami on it, but it's for Mia's birthday. I think it's better to have it in cash with me so we don't spend it on anything else because the cushion has no money in there for us so we are not gonna use it for anything else I keep telling my husband we have to keep each other accountable and then one person says we should go here and eat I was like okay and then like the next day I'll be like I want this and he's like okay okay um it's just it's just not being accountable is what we're doing so I think the money in the cushion is allowing us to do that um hopefully having it in cash is a lot better I'm really hoping that it does so thank you so much for watching this video and being here for me i hope you guys are doing well in your budgets and also in your personal life and i hope i get to see you on my next one and i believe i do have a sale going on my shop right now because it's father's day weekend when i plan to upload this so i should have a father's day sale going on so i'll put the code here if you guys want to check out my shop um i'll definitely have more budgeting items in my shop now because i'm getting back more into it maybe some new laminated cash breakdown cards because i don't have any of those i only have the notepads so i might come out with just a simple laminated cash breakdown card for all of us to use in this time but until then i will see you on my next video one more thing i know i changed the name here again just because i want to make a separate instagram for my budget as you can tell i'm really going ham on this budgeting again i feel so much passion for it again like i used to which is so exciting for me i think it's the burst of new budgeters coming out and just the way that they're so passionate about their budget and how much i see the difference is like rekindling my love for budgeting so i hope i get to keep it and like it always like fires up in me because budgeting is so good for you especially when you start young so um i am changing the name again to simply cami budgets just because simply cami has been my name for the longest time but now simply cami is just my vlogging channel and also my cute stationery shop name so i think the budgets at the end kind of helps it out because i only have one shop for everything i have one shop for my stationery items one shop for my fan art items and then also one shop for my budgeting items it's all in the same domain of simplycami.com so i think naming this one simply cami budgets and also my budgeting channel and instagram and maybe tiktok simply cami budgets kind of allows people to remember who I am because I've been in the budgeting community since 2019. Um, so I think it just allows other older people that know me from then to remember me again, to kind of see who I am here and now in 2023 because it's a different time. So that's just why you see the changing names again. And I also have my Etsy that I will mainly sell budgeting items just so i can get my name out there some more because we really need to you know get into the budgeting again so yeah i'm gonna make a separate instagram to update you guys on my numbers my debt numbers and like shop stuff that i'm doing and just like personal life in general so if you guys want to follow that i will link it down below maybe my tiktok as well i just don't know how people film like tiktok cash budgeting if they do it on youtube again because do they film it twice one for the camera and one for the phone which is like no shame it's just the hustle is real because if if that's what you guys do i'm probably gonna do the same thing because i want to reach as many people as i can so i will see you guys on my next one bye